So today I'm here with Harriet Woodard with Bank of Colorado Mortgage, and we're gonna answer some questions that you may have about mortgage rates and specifically how some of the Fed decisions affect that. So the first question is the last couple of Fed cuts we've seen, mortgage rates have actually increased. Is that normal and is that something we should expect in the future? Not really. Many people assume that when the Fed cuts the short-term rate, mortgage rates should fall. But the relationship is that actually a little more indirect than that. It involves um, inflation expectations, the bond market, and investor philosophies. By the time the Fed actually cuts the rate, that move has already been built in and priced in. Investors have been trading for weeks, if not months, based on what they think the Fed is going to do. So when the cut actually happens, sometimes that will trigger a different response and rates can rise or stay flat. One of the best ways that I've heard this explained is that um, mortgage rates live in a different neighborhood than the Fed rate. So the Fed controls the overnight rate between banks and mortgage rates live somewhere way down the block with long-term rates or long-term bonds. And they're more affected by inflation, government spending, investor confidence. So when the Fed cuts the rate, it doesn't directly affect mortgage rates, but it does affect the whole environment around them. 